Good morning everybody. Welcome back. This is Gina. Um, I am going to be working on the guest check challenge that Crafty Cat is doing. It is the hashtag 50 stack challenge. And um, just to catch you guys up, I'm still needing to do the prompt for 1 and 2. But I'm this week going to work on 7 and 8. And as I said, when I get time, I'll go back and complete the um, first two. Because I miss that. And um, to be quite honest, I'm struggling to just keep up with everything. Um, things are really busy here. We're on our last weekend of our seasonal job. So I'm struggling um, with the heat to try to find time to film. And particularly these where I'm speaking and it's all... Um, you know, a process video where you guys are watching, but okay, let's don't waste any time, jump right in. The prompt for number seven is lace, and to save some time, I have pulled out a few things that I'm going to try to make work, um, and this, I believe, is from the Tim Holtz uh, collection of field notes. This is came in my um, Your Creative Box Studio collection and I thought this would be pretty if I can make these work some way. Um, so that's where my head is with the lace one. I've got some lace and then I've got some stamped images. So I think I want to just start with just tearing a piece of this. And I am not going to overthink this, guys. I'm just going to go with it and hope for the best. Grab my ink. <clears throat> Tried to get everything laid out, but there's inevitably something that I forget every time. Um, this one, I know I want this image to kind of cover this portion of the guest check, so I'm just going to tear this down. Let me zoom you guys out. I'm a little bit close, I think, today. So And I'll save that because it's, it's pretty paper, so I'll save that and try to work that in another project. Um, I'm going to keep the numbers on this one, but I want to tone that down just a bit. I don't like that harsh red because it doesn't go with the colors on this. So this is just some old sewing um, pattern paper, tissue paper. So I'm just going to go with that and... A, it's just a great little way to tone things down because I want, as I've said to you guys before, I don't like to cover things to the point that you don't know that it was a guest check or an envelope. I kind of like, to me, you know, it, that's why I like the junk journal is, is taking something that's ordinary and... Um, turning it into something extraordinary. All right, that looks better to me because that's toned that down and I could actually, you know, I'm just going to tear up a little bit to get some wrinkles in it and I'm actually going to go over that again. And this time I'm going to leave some of the wrinkles in that just for the texture because I still don't have my die cutting machine to emboss and um, texture is something I'm really struggling to, um, 
to add being on the road. So I'll just give you a close up. You can see it just adds a little bit more interest, I think. So I'm going to ink these edges before I put this one down. I'm going to now go ahead and ink around this piece. I should have did that before I glued it down, but I wasn't thinking. Because I don't want this, I don't want to over ink this time. I, I, I don't really do the grunge look, but I don't know what lately I seem to be doing more of that. Um, Alright, so I'm not going to cover I don't want to cover those numbers, so I'm just going to place that there. Okay, and so now I'm thinking it would be kind of fun to have a little bit more of this. Okay, now I've forgotten the lace because that was the whole point of this, wasn't it? <laughs> getting sidetracked. Okay. I'm going to work this in. I'm just going to lay these now. <clears throat> okay, the lace is definitely going to go over here. <clears throat> Okay, maybe I can make that work. Actually, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's snip it off. So, <clears throat> sorry guys, I've got <clears throat> a really croaky throat this morning. Let me get a drink. I was thinking a bit of this underneath. Alright, let's just go for it. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that because I'm pretty sure. I'm going to use that. few more things. I want to use this, but I'm going to go ahead and pull. I want this to be more frayed. I've just cut these after I inked them. And what I do is I just put these in a little container and then when I go to use them, I just fray the material a little bit more. Yeah, that looks better. So I don't want to cover that flower. I want to be conscious of that. So I'm just thinking somewhere around here. And then I've got this one now. I don't know if I'll use this. I may decide at the last minute not to, which is okay as well. Like I said, I just pulled out some stuff that I thought worked really well together. And then you get them, you know, once I start, I might decide, oh, no, actually. Okay, I don't want to cover that, but it's weather. And then I had this. I definitely think this needs to go somewhere, but I'm kind of thinking just to get rid of some of these edges. This might actually be very pretty there. And then it's whether I want to try to use this as well. This might actually come off. Hmm. 
I mean, I'm just now thinking maybe. Yeah. Maybe I won't worry about keeping that other floral visible. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go. Okay, first of all, I'm going to get this lace down because let's take my Fabri-Tac, get that down, and then I think I can start to pull this together. I think this is what's throwing me is not having this. So I'm going to let that edge just hang off slightly just for a little bit more interest. And then this little strip... I'm just going to put a little bead along here. Okay, that's better, definitely. Alright, so let me just go ahead and trim this up. It's the center bit. This is still kind of giving me some trouble here, and I might change the whole focal point now. I'm, st I'm starting to think I'm not going to worry about trying to do something with that. I definitely want to soften the edges of this, but I think it needs to go for the balance. I think it needs to be over here somewhere. There. I like that. Okay. Yep. I'm just going with it because again, I'm overthinking this. I, I think. <laughs> I think I'm overthinking it. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on this because this is going on the lace and I want to make sure that this is adhered. Just distress this a little bit. Okay. Okay, there is the number seven. This is the lace, so I'm going to sit that to the side and jump into the next one, which is Prompt 8 Vellum. Um, this is
some of the things I received in the Your Creative Box Studio, which is what I pulled. When I pulled this out, that's when I decided on that backing paper. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of using this up. And this is vellum that came in that, and I think that is just beautiful. So this one, the first thing I want to do is get a little bit of this music paper. I'm going to get some of this down. Okay. I love how that's showing through. That's really, really pretty. And I'm just going to trim off the excess. And let's see, what else have I got here? This is one of the little die cuts, and I thought that might be pretty. Just to come over the top portion of that. And this is one of the little notes. Yeah, I'm just going to go with it, guys.
All right, guys, that is number eight, which is the vellum. So there we go. Seven was lace, eight is vellum. Let me just give you a close-up of this one. Yeah, I really like that one. I'm very pleased with how that came out. This one I really like as well. So there you go, guys. Um, if you're interested in joining this challenge, um, go over to her channel, uh, Crafty Cat, and um, you can catch up on all of the um, previous ones. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.